Architecture has been in my life right since I was a little kid. My dad was an architect. He had a drafting board at home that I used right from about age six or seven, drawing houses, drawing airplanes. Probably somewhat inevitable that I would head in this direction. The biggest thing that we appreciate in our home that John provided for us was the ability for us to really have an experience with the interior and the exterior and our natural surroundings. So he really incorporated our home into the, the property and into the lot and so we experience that every day. In terms of sustainability, we've built a space that can adapt to our family as it grows. Um, it adapts when we have visitors. Uh, we can have you know, another family of five with us and it, everyone still has enough private little niches to wander off to when needed. The house really is exactly what we wanted and in fact we had a list of uh, nice to haves and need to haves and we got all our need to haves and just about every nice to have as well. We have a combined experience. Those are my employees of probably 55 or 60 years uh, between us. We can look after all of the aspects for our clients. A lot of our clients are actually out of the area. We have currently clients in Cape Breton Island, in Saskatoon, in Northern Alberta, Nelson, Victoria. We chose a builder and the builder chose John. We had uh, conversations and uh, thought it was a good fit. Interestingly enough, I don't work in the kitchen, my wife does, but I really enjoy the kitchen. It seems to be part of the home, yet it still has an ability to be a kitchen and functional uh, for her. And we, we have a lot, spend time in the kitchen. Working with John was really easy. He made it so that um, we didn't feel anxious. And when you're building a house, there are a lot of decisions to make and we could always refer to him and ask him for his advice and go from there. The home is the it's a kind of the nexus of all of the significant relationships in our lives. If you think about the relationship between uh, you and your spouse, between you and your children, uh, with your community, with your pets, with uh, nature around you, it's a place where all of these relationships happen. And when architecture is done well, these relationships can flourish, and that's what we call relationship-based design. What I do is I'm an environmental mediator. I mediate between people and the environment. And so design is part of that process.